welcome back to tech nuggets this is a brand new video on install series which is install docker desktop on windows 10 before i get into today's video quick channel analytics this channel is getting a very good amount of views thank you viewers however the percentage of subscribers in the views are very very low if you are watching this channel first time or not a subscriber yet Please scroll down and hit the subscribe button now and follow me on Twitter. Let's get our hand dirty on installing Docker on Windows. Okay, let's go ahead and check for Docker. So the first thing what we see, go to Google, say Docker. You can have two links like a Docker Home and install Docker Desktop. Let's see Docker Home. So this is a home page of Docker and uh, it explains the product and for developers and pricing so this is um, free for personal use and developers however if there is a organization if there is a commercial use there is a price involved okay so this is how it is so anyway we don't have to worry about that we are going to use it for our personal learning purpose so it's free and also if you scroll down you will see the uh, latest statics, statistics of this website so currently it has a 13 plus million developers and 7 plus million applications and 13 billion plus monthly image downloads are being used from docker so it's one of the most popular uh, container packaging software right so and also you can see this information like uh, the basics of docker you can read about it it's used for build share run that's a major three themes that's how it is okay let's go ahead and download docker desktop or windows okay let's go on this link so the one of the important thing which you have to notice is um installation on every platform is a bit different so we are going to see for windows okay so the first thing is system requirement please note this there is a wsl2 backend is required uh, the operating system supported is windows 10 64 bit windows 11 64 bit and we should enable wsl wsl2 feature in order to download the install this the minimum requirement is 64 bit processor 4 gb ram and hardware virtualization should be enabled okay and there is a windows container and these are the basic steps so if it is on windows we know what to do because you double click the exe file and run it there is a command line we also to run so all of these options available so first thing let's go ahead and click on docker for docker desktop for windows so i already have downloaded this so it's about uh, 493 mb so it will take some time so click on and download then we'll see how do we install this okay the file is downloaded it's ready to install it's about um, 493 MB okay let's go ahead and uh, double click this and it should take few seconds to pop up let us see so as i mentioned this requires our wsl2 enabled on windows because um, container is it's a linux based and it needs some of the linux related uh, libraries that's why okay so there is a prompt 
So click go ahead and say yes. It's actually opening. Okay, so as you can see, there's a Docker desktop version 4.11.0. So build is 83626. So make sure this that you check use WSL2 instead of Hyper-V recommended and add shortcut to desktop let's go ahead and say ok it should take a couple of minutes depends on your system configuration the installation time will vary ok It's almost finishing the installation step uh, it really took more than five minutes again this is a remember this system is a 16 GB RAM system with SSD hard disk so ideally it should perform this itself like almost five minutes so it can vary based on your system so if the installation is completed our one thing to notice if you are first time you are installing you may find a prompt on WSL if um, if it is not enabled something similar to this okay uh, it will happen like uh, WSL2 installation is incomplete then it will give you the link click on this link you need to install that uh, library separately then give a restart you are good to go ready to move on with the installation steps okay so the installation is complete then we can now we can close okay let's go ahead and verify the installation so you click on docker desktop and it should open up the nice ui it's opening up it's a bit slow but it is coming up okay it opened so you need to accept the license terms you are ready to open the desktop okay it looks like there is an error and it is fixing by itself don't worry about sometimes it is a while starting it may take some time to reorganize your system and there is a library okay again this is also based on your systems configuration or uh, docker desktop starting process speed will vary if it is um, really a good configuration fairly it'll quickly it will start up otherwise it will take some time yeah it started and um, it, it took almost like a uh, two minutes again depends on your system and uh, this is how it looks you can say start and you will find a basic console here wherein you can check the version for example i want to say docker hyphen hyphen version You will find this so docker version is 20.10.17 and build is this one so that's how we verify the 
docker installation so these are the steps to be followed so it's fairly easy with windows only a struggle where you will find this uh, wsl to enable it if it's uh, not succeeding uh, restart couple of times it should be okay 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 let's run the basic allow git so this is the command docker run uh, the name name is repo and uh, alpine git clone so don't worry about this oh, basically it's unable to find you can see that this is a powershell it's trying to fetch this alpine image as a base image from there it is trying to build the multiple layers you can you can find this progress here where i'm highlighting and once it is done it should be good um so subsequent videos i'll explain the simple application how do we create a build file how do we build it how to run it and also one is with the application one with something database so we'll we'll see that in subsequent videos okay let's click on the next step so it's already CD and you can find here okay now this one what it is doing is it's a um, docker build minus T it's a tagging with the docker tutorial and and the let's click this and you can find the the progress of the docker image build again based on your internet speed this will vary okay this will depend on so now the the step what you can see here you can what all you are doing first you cloned it you built it you are running now okay so what will happen is in every time in your uh, local system there is a copy of the image which is uh, it will clone the base image as a layer layered structure then it will build your own file and uh, next time when you try to build it it will use the local copy if there is a newer version uh, available in the repository it will pull it otherwise it will use the local copy so that's how it saves a lot of time and it, it, it makes it efficient while you are building and uh, running this docker okay and also you can see there are some steps uh, don't worry this i will i will explain in the further videos subsequent videos i'll further i will explain this what, uh, what exactly it says okay so next step in the tutorial um running this container it's the first tutorial container go ahead and click this so what the command is docker run minus t it's a port is 8080 name is docker tutorial let's go ahead and click and enter yeah it's running so it's giving the image now ideally you open up a image i mean you open up a browser and point to localhost 80 you will find this must be running okay let's go ahead and see that host not 8080 yeah so you are able to see the getting started page congratulations so you have done the first tutorial docker container you you built it you are running it okay so the next step we can share this image we can tag it and we can put it in the uh, docker repository for that you need to have your um, username or if you don't have you can create one okay 
so congratulations we have done with uh, docker installation and basic tutorial what how we can do so once you click on done so this is your container it's running on port so this is one good point about um, a windows docker desktop right you don't you are not even touch the command line even though it was using a second powershell on next to that uh, desktop i mean it's integrated with the same gui it's nice to manage otherwise you have to do the command line level commands so one way it's good other way around us you may be missing some of the uh, fun of learning new commands however don't worry about it you're not limited only using this you can parallel you can open up a command line and you can start learning your commands okay thank you for your time see you in the next video